Hey, Eris. Yeah? Wanna go to the beach? Yes. What about my beach clothes? We're gonna put it on right now. We can get home. You wanna go? Yes. All right, let's go. This is a 70 liter Rux and this is the third time I am filming this review. This is the third time I'm filming this review because every single time that I filmed this thing, I had like one criticism or two about this thing and then I would go and use it and realized it was user error this whole time. And this is why you should be getting to know the product before you just start hitting the record button. I am always on the lookout for different storage solutions, right? Like I have this unhealthy addiction to like cargo boxes and duffel bags and backpacks, anything that can help me sort my shit like I am all about it. This popped up on my Instagram feed and I was immediately intrigued just by the, the way it looked, the way you can compact it down, the different features I had, the different accessories you can buy for this thing. This is the Rux 70 liter. And notice I didn't say Rux 70 liter cargo box because it's not a box. In fact, that's literally their motto. Their motto is, it's not a box, it's a Rux. And for good reason, because this thing can do things that many other cargo boxes can't do. So when Rux coincidentally hit me up and said, hey, do you wanna try the 70L? I was like, of course, yeah, send one over. So they sent it and I just really wanted to get the review out and, and start using it. But then there were things about it that I wasn't liking. And then I took it to the beach and then I realized that the things that I was complaining about is just because I was using it wrong. This box is just continuing to reveal different things to me that I'm just like, this is pretty awesome. Now let's start with the outside. The Rux is made of this really nice, very premium feeling waterproof material. I had actually expected the same kind of material they used to make dry bags because that's how it looked like in the picture. It is kind of that where it's like rubbery vinyl kind of thing, but it also feels different, like it feels nice, it feels soft. There's all these perforations on it. It just makes it feel really good. The construction is perfect. Like you go around this thing and there's not areas where like threads are coming out or like seams are popping off. Every seam has been heat treated and glued together very, very well. Even all these like little nice accents. I'm having a hard time finding different imperfections on here. And I'm like, wow, they did a really good job in constructing this thing. It's just, it's simple. And I think that's why I really like like it. There's like not all these crazy designs all over the place. In fact, their branding is also pretty minimal. You have your logo right there, which I am a geek for branding, so I love the way their logo looks. You have another logo on the lid itself, and then you have the logo here and the little buckles, and that's pretty much it as far as their branding is concerned. Now, speaking of having a bunch of these on the shelf, if you look around the perimeter of this thing on the outside and on the inside, you'll notice these rails, and these rails are the heart of the system. These rails are meant for accessories, and one of the accessories they have are wall mounts. So if you don't have space on a shelf somewhere, you can buy those wall mounts, put them on a blank wall somewhere, and when you wanna stow this thing, it just clips onto those rails and you can keep it stowed there. Now on both sides, you have these straps. Now these are the little details that I like that they put throughout this product. They could have just made this handle like all black, but instead they decided to add this little orange piping on top. It just adds to that look. These are also attached to those rails, so if these ever break, then you can just take them off and then replace them with new ones. The only gripe that I have, these straps are a bit too thin. If this starts to get heavy and you're carrying it by the straps, it might start to dig in your hands a little bit. I wish there was like some sort of padding or something a little bit thicker, something more comfortable to hold this thing on with. Who knows, maybe one day they'll sell like an upgraded strap that you can replace these with that are more comfortable. In fact, that's what I like about this whole system. Rux mentioned that they're trying to be more environmentally conscious where pretty much everything about the box can be replaced if it broke. Like if you were to buy a regular plastic bin and that broke, you would have to get rid of it. Like it's done and that's just wasted plastic. Whereas here, 
you can keep your box going for a long time just by replacing the different parts that might break on you. Now over here are your compression straps and these straps are what keep the lid closed but also when you compress this thing you can tighten those straps to keep the rucks in a nice flat package. You do get some straps. You get two of them and then you can basically just take this and attach it to those rails as well and then extend it however you see fit and then carry it on your shoulder. So that's pretty cool. Now the Rux comes in three classic colors. You have black, OD green, and tan. I'm a tan person. That didn't sound right. I just really like the way the tan one looks, like the tan with the black and the orange accents. It's like 100% my style. Now they just released a special edition orange. This orange here, they put throughout the whole box. Looks really good, but it's sold out pretty quick. Now the entire lid can come off this thing. And when I first got this, I didn't like it. Like I didn't like it at all. Like why do I have to take the entire lid off just to access my stuff? I expected a zipper where I could just unzip and it opens on a hinge and I'm like, it's pointless to be taking out this lid every single time until I took it to the beach and realized I had been using it wrong. The first clue that should have clicked in my brain were seeing these slats up here. I thought it was just for design and I didn't realize that these actually have a specific function. Now this lid has a lip that goes around the entire perimeter and that's what keeps water from getting inside. So if it's getting rained on, the rain will just kind of go right over this whole thing. And even if the rain is coming in from the sides, the lip is so tight on there that it's not gonna creep upwards. It, it's kind of far down in there. Now, earlier I had mentioned that this thing is made of a waterproof material and the material is waterproof. It won't like soak through but the box itself is not waterproof. They consider it weatherproof. Like you can mount this to the top of your vehicle or have it outside in storms, snow, all that stuff. Your contents will be protected, but what you don't wanna do is like dunk this into a lake or a river. Otherwise the water will get in there and your stuff will be ruined. Now to open this thing, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unclip our compression straps. And then on each side of the rucks, you'll see these pull tabs again, Nice touch with the orange. It's all these little accents, this is awesome. And originally, the way I was opening it was, there's a button up here to remove this pull tab. So you press the button and pull the pull tab out. You do the same thing on the other side. And then the entire lid will come off. And I'm like, well, I don't like that because then every time I need something, I gotta go through that whole process. And then to close it back up, I gotta just kind of throw this on top and make sure the lid is all around. and. That's just a lot of steps to take. I wasn't a fan. And then I realized that's really not how you're supposed to do it. So you take this off so you can load everything up, get everything you need into your rucks. And then when you're done, go ahead and seal this thing up, put all the tabs back in its place, and then put the tabs back through the rails. Again, everything utilizes these rails. So we take the pull tab, put it through the rail again, and do the same thing on the other side. And then when you need to access stuff, all you gotta do is take the pull tabs on the corner and pop it open like that. And it actually stays open. Now you can grab whatever you need. If you wanna grab stuff from the other side, you do the same thing there and access whatever you need on that side. And to close it is actually really quick. You just take your pull tabs, do the same thing on the other side. You'll hear a pop and that's it. Now the inside of the box, let's go ahead and take this lid off so I can show you what's inside. The bottom is this really tough material, which is great because you're putting this on a bunch of different surfaces, gravel, rocks, and if it's the same material as this, then those rocks and sharp edges can poke right through. So I'm glad that they toughened that up and you can put it pretty much anywhere. Now over here in the corner where you see this logo, those are what keeps the entire rocks propped up. Remember when we were kids, there were those bracelets that were flat and it would like hit your wrist and it would wrap around your wrist. That's pretty much what those are, like the same concept. But what's great about those is that's what helps this thing stay propped up and also collapse. So let's see how fast I can collapse this thing. All right, I've been practicing this thing, so let's see if I can get it done right. All you gotta do, break that down. Just push those in. It just collapses down. Then take your compression straps and then you just pull at it to get it tight. And that is it. You now have a nice compact package, even with the handles on the side still.
and you can just basically stuff this anywhere out of the way until you need it. Now here are the different accessories you can buy for this thing. There's a three liter pocket and there's also this tote bag. Now the three liter pocket, I actually like this a lot. It's very simple, very slim. Uh, you have the logo right there, it's very minimal. And then inside, basic, you do have two little compartments in there, it's just a mesh kind of fabric in there. This one is fitted perfectly for a phone and then the other one's a little bit bigger. I have the iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max and that fits like perfectly in there. And then you can put your wallet and other stuff in there and then you can put everything else kind of on the outside because then you could just fold this up like this and then take this with you and it's nice and slim. Later on, put it back in the 70 liter and you are good. Now, the other thing that I got is their divider tote. Now, when I got this in the mail, I'm like, oh, I thought it would be bigger than that. But then when I opened it up, I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty substantial. It's like the size of the shopping bags, like a medium sized shopping bag, like the kind you would take to the grocery store. It's about that size, it's pretty substantial. There's a lot of stuff you could put in here. Now, remember earlier I had shown you that there's these rails on the outside and on the inside. At the end of these are these little you have these clips and you just come in, going in from the top down. It just drops in really easily, really smoothly actually. And if you take a look, you now have a pocket. Now the clips on these are on the ends and they go into the rail upwards. So there you go. You can put a lot of your main stuff here, but then a lot of your grab and go stuff you can put in here and then just pull it out when you need it. So you're not just having one box and you're just kind of dropping everything in it. So what would this actually be good for and how could you use it? Well, I think this is the perfect, perfect solution for what I would call temporary storage. Like I run the Front Runner Wolfpack and Cub Packs and those cargo boxes hold all of my camping essentials and they never leave that box. I don't remove anything from those boxes so it's ready to go for our next trip. This would be good for when you get home and you have to take the stuff out. So for example, if you use this as your luggage, like you can fit your entire family's wardrobe for the weekend in this, it's so big. And then when you get home, you can take all the clothes out of this thing collapse this down and this can go in the corner of your closet and not take up any space. Now, how do I plan to use it? We live on the beach and we're always going to the beach and when we're not going to the beach, sometimes we're traveling to Florida Springs and we go snorkeling and kayaking and because this has all the different kind of organization in it, all of our phones and wallets keys will all go in here. Then I can put all the towels, things that we need to dry off can go in here because this can come out. So we can just kind of take the bag out and bring our towels with us. And then the rest of the open space, that's where I can put either my kids' beach toys or I can put snorkels and fins and all that will go in here. When we get home, we just have to throw the towels into the wash. We can remove all of our items in here. Then I can collapse this back down. And then in the off season, this can just stay compacted and put away in one of our uh, closets and, and it'll live there. And that is why I really, really like this system. So thank you, Rux, for sending this over. I, I, I cannot wait to begin using this. You'll see this again. We're actually going to one of the Florida Springs at the end of May. So you're going to see me do another like review on the field with this thing and let you know how it's working out for us. But anyway, that's it. This video is being released Sunday, April 30th, 2023, which means that tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be back here on YouTube to do a live stream to pick the YouTube 10K double giveaway winner. So if you signed up for that, make sure you come back here at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then right after the live stream here on YouTube, I'm gonna jump right over to Instagram and do a live there, and that'll be at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, so we can pick the winner of the Instagram 10K double giveaway. A lot of great products that are being given for this giveaway from various companies that I've worked with, and I'm so thankful to them for contributing some of those products, so get in on it. Another thing is Patreon. If you are not signed up 
to us yet uh, on Patreon. If We would love if you do. Any level of patron that you are, you will have access to the videos earlier. And you also have access to the end of the month live stream that I'm going to be doing where basically I talk about some of the products that we've just done uh, that month. So make sure you jump on there because then you can ask all the questions you want about all the stuff that we've reviewed so far. But I do hope that you like this video. I hope it helped you decide whether or not the Rux 70L is a good fit for your system. I personally, I like it a lot and I cannot wait to use it. Uh, if you found this video informative, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also click that notification bell so you'll know every time we release a new video. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson and I will see you next time. I swear, I don't think there's ever been a time there wasn't sand in all of our stuff.